In this video, we're looking at all of the history of the different appearances of the Druid travel form, including the flying and aquatic forms. In classic Vanilla WoW, the travel form was a cheetah, which only increased movement speed by 40%. This shapeshifting ability can be learned at level 30 from Druid trainers and only costs 30 silver. Unlike other mana expensive shapeshifting spells Druids have in classic, the travel form shapeshift only requires 20% of the player's base mana, instead of 55% like all the other forms in classic Vanilla. The travel form's only downside is that it can only be used outdoors, which is still the case even to this day. Druids can also use aquatic form in Classic and Vanilla. Starting at level 16, Druids can complete a quest to obtain the form. This form is a sea line and gives the Druid two main benefits. First, it increases swim speed by 50%, and second, it also allows the player to breathe underwater. This spell also costs 20% mana to use, the same amount of mana as a travel form. Both the Night Elves and Torrens had the same model for the aquatic forms. And just another little note, the quest chain in order to obtain this form was so infamously long that a lot of players actually skipped it until higher levels. Now we move on to WoW's first expansion, the Burning Crusade. TBC only saw one minor change to both the travel form and aquatic form, with the amount of mana used to shapeshift into these forms being reduced from 20% to 13. Although a minor change, this was presumably done because all the other druid shapeshifting forms were also receiving mana reduction costs, and so the devs just decided to reduce the mana costs across the board for all druid shapeshifts. TBC saw the introduction of flying into WoW, and with it came the flight form for druids. Flight form increased the druid's movement speed by 60% and allowed the druid to be able to fly in Outland, but it could only be used while not in combat. For around 8 gold, flight form could be learned at level 68 from druid trainers. When TBC first launched, both Night Elves and Torn had the same crow and raven model. This was changed in patch 2.1 when horde flight forms were made more golden brown to distinguish themselves from the alliance versions. The Night Elf flight form is a crow with elven ears, and the Torn flight form is a hawk with bull horns. Also in patch 2.1 came the Druid Epic Flight Form, which was available through a series of 17 quests. The complete quest line is too long to go into detail for this video, but it culminates in the Druid having to summon and then kill Anzu, a boss only found in the heroic instance of the Sethic Hall's dungeon of Akendun. This boss also had the chance to drop the reins of the Raven Lord mount, which was highly sought after. With the Swift Flight Form, movement speed while flying was increased to 280%. Now we move on to WoW's second expansion, Wrath of the Lich King. The flight form saw two changes in Wrath, with the biggest one being the flight form now granting 150% increased speed, up from 60% in TBC. The second, smaller change was that flight form can now be learned at level 60, down from 68 in TBC. In regards to the swift flight form in Wrath, it only had one major change. The level requirement was increased to level 71 in order to use the swift flight form so that druids could not immediately start flying at Northrend at level 70. Additionally, in order to learn Swift Flight Form at level 71, a druid had to pay 19 gold, but had to learn Artisan Writing, and already have Flight Form learned. This meant the druid no longer had to complete the quest chain to obtain the Swift Flight Form that was added in the Burning Crusade. However, Wrath also saw the introduction of achievements to the game, and an achievement was added for players who had completed the Swift Flight Form. Another new feature added in Wrath of Lich King was the Inscription Profession, and with it came Glyphs. There was a notable glyph from Northrend Inscription that could affect the druid's aquatic form, with the glyph aptly named Glyph of Aquatic Form. When used, the glyph increased the druid's swim speed by 50% while the druid was in aquatic form. While there were many groundbreaking changes to the game in WoW's third expansion, Cataclysm, the various travel forms only saw a few changes. The biggest of these changes was the complete removal of two of the quest chains to obtain the druid shapeshifting forms. The first quest chain to be removed in Cata was for the swift flight form. Along with this change also came the removal of the achievement for completing the questline. The second quest chain that was removed was the quest chain in order to obtain the aquatic form. There was also one minor change to the aquatic form and its mana cost being reduced 8% of the druid's mana, down from 13. Cataclysm introduced two new races that could play as druids. These two new races were the newly added worgen and the already existing darkspear trolls. For the most part, worgen druid travel forms used the same models as the night elves did, and the troll druids had the same travel forms as the torrents. Many druid forms got new models and appearances in both Wrath and Kata. However, the travel forms were left out entirely from getting new unique models, with the only exception being the trolls and worgen getting unique flight forms when they were added in Cataclysm. The troll flight form is a bat with long tusks and ears, while the worgen flight form is a raven with a worgen-like mane and ears. Next up is WoW's fourth expansion, Mista Pandaria. Mops saw a ton of changes to all of the druid travel forms. The first two changes we'll discuss are more technical and mundane things. First, the mana cost of aquatic form was reduced all the way down to only 5% of the druid's base mana. Second, the flight form in Mach was automatically learned at level 58, and players no longer had to buy the ability due in part to the revamped talent system. The biggest change to the travel form in the history of the game came in Mop when the Cheetah model was replaced with the new Stag model. Both the Torin and Darkspear Troll travel forms are dark grey stags with the runes. For both the Night Elves and Morgan, their travel form is a light grey stag. 
In total, there are four druid glyphs added Mr. Pandaria that are worthy of discussion for this video. For the first glyphs, the devs had the foresight to see that not everyone may like the new stag model. As a solution, a new glyph was added in Mop Inscription called Glyph of the Cheetah. Using this glyph allowed the druid to regain the old travel form model of a cheetah. The second of these glyphs is called the Glyph of the Master Shapeshifter. This glyph completely removed the mana cost of all shapeshifting abilities. The third druid glyph was named Glyph of the Stag. When first implemented, there was a fun bug that devs had failed to notice, in which multiple druids could ride on top of another druid stag form, since it now served as a mount after they had learned the new Glyph of Stag. This bug was quickly hotfixed, but not before it became a bit of a meme. To honor this bug, the WoW devs added the stackable stag toy to the game shortly after. The last glyph was called Glyph of the Orca. Using this glyph altered the player's aquatic form from that of a sea lion to that of an orca. The next expansion for WoW was Warlord of Draenor. Watt only saw one pretty massive change to the aquatic, land, and flight forms for druids. This big change was that the travel form now automatically transitioned between aquatic, land, and flight forms depending on the druid's location. That is, on the ground, the druid would automatically transition to stag form. While flying, they would automatically transition to flight form, and while swimming, they would automatically shapeshift into aquatic form. There were two druid glyphs in Wad that should be mentioned. The first glyph is the glyph of the stag from Mr. Pandaria, which was reworked. During Wad, the glyph's description read, Your stag form can now be used as a mount by party members. Travel form will no longer ever activate flight, and flight form is learned as a separate ability. This glyph essentially reversed the automatic transitions that were added to the travel form in Wad. The second glyph was a new glyph added in Wad called Glyph of Travel. This glyph allowed Druid's travel form to grant an additional 60% movement speed. The main drawback was that the travel form could no longer be used in combat, which was a huge disadvantage. And of course the speed boost was disabled in PvP and couldn't be stacked with other speed bonuses. Additionally, many Druid travel forms glyphs existed. That is, players could only use one glyph at a time, meaning they had to choose between the Glyph of the Cheetah, the Glyph of the Stag, and the Glyph of Travel. Next up is WoW's 6th expansion, Legion. This expansion saw a ton of changes to many different parts of the druid's different travel forms, but we'll try to keep it short. First off, with the removal of many glyphs in the game, Blizzard decided to streamline a lot of the druid's travel form. This came mainly in two big changes, which were reiterations on changes from Mop and Watt. In Legion, mana cost for shapeshifting in different forms was removed entirely. Previously, this had been made available with the Glyph of the Master Shapeshifter from Mop. However, Legion removed a ton of glyphs, including the Glyph of the Master Shapeshifter, so the devs decided to just make the glyph's ability baseline. The second big change was copied from Wad, when in Legion it was made so that the aquatic form and flight forms and the swift flight forms were all merged into the travel form. The travel form then changed depending on the player's location like it had in Wad. Legion also saw the addition of two new models for druid forms. Both the night elves and torrent models for the flight form were updated in Legion. The night elf flight form model is a crow with long ears, and the torrent flight form model is a hawk with bull horns. Speaking of flight forms, druids also received a new special flight form model from their class order hall campaign. The arc druid's lunar wing form is rewarded from the quest, You Can't Take the Sky From Me. This model replaced your normal flight form and its color variations depending on your character's race. Additionally, the flight form also allowed you to carry a passenger on your back. As previously mentioned, many glyphs were removed in Legion. Three of the druid glyphs we've mentioned so far in this video were removed in this expansion. These three glyphs include the Glyph of Aquatic Form, the Glyph of Travel, and the Glyph of Stack. However, some of these glyphs were so popular that they were re-added to the game as tomes. For example, the Glyph of the Stag was changed to the Tome of the Wild Stag form. The tome pretty much did the same thing as the Glyph did in that it gave the druid player a mount form, which allows the druid to be able to carry the player on their back while in their stag form. Despite all the glyphs that were removed in Legion, there are actually two druid glyphs that were added in Legion that deserve a mention. The first of these glyphs was from the Legion inscription and called Glyph of the Doe. As you can imagine, it changed the player's stack form travel to be that of a doe. The second glyph that was added in Legion was named Mark of the Sentinel. This changed the druid's flight form to that of an owl. Night elves in sentinel form are blue and gold, worgen are purple, trolls are pale and gray, and tauren are brown. Now we move on to the Battle for Azeroth expansion. BFA saw the introduction of two new allied races that could be druids and also introduced three new glyph models. First, let's discuss the new druid models. Although High Mountain Torn were added in Legion and could be played as druids, it wasn't until BFA that they received unique model variants in the druid forms. Prior to this, they had the same models as regular Torn druids. The High Mountain Torn travel form is a moose. The High Mountain Torn also keep their antlers when in flight form, but unfortunately they do not keep them in aquatic form. The two new allied races added in BFA that could be druids were the Cult Tehran Humans of the Alliance and the Zandalari Trolls of the Horde. The Cult Tehran travel form is a stag made of wicker and wood in the dress first style theme. In BFA, the color of the Cult Tehran travel form depended upon the player character's hair color and came in four variants. Similarly, the Cult Tehran aquatic form is a drusty walrus creature that also had four variants depending upon the player's hair color. 
Finally, the Colteron flight form is a wicker bird. While the Colteron travel form models are Dressfar inspired, the Zandalari travel forms are more dinosaur inspired. For example, the Zandalari troll travel form is a raptor with long tusks, the Zandalari aquatic form is a shark like Mosasaurus with long tusks, and finally, the Zandalari troll flight form is a pterodactyl with long tusks. Three new glyphs appeared with the BFA inscription. These three glyphs were the Glyph of the Humble Flyer, the Glyph of the Dolphin, and the Glyph of the Tide Skipper. The Glyph of the Humble Flyer alters the Druid's flight form to appear with no armor, providing a more natural look and feel to the form. And as you probably guess, the Glyphs of the Dolphin and the Tide Skipper change the Druid's aquatic form to be those of a Dolphin and a Tide Skipper. The Tide Skipper is a darker, corrupted, and more edgy form of the Dolphin. While his next expansion is Shadowlands, which saw many changes to how Druid customization options worked. The biggest of these were several updates to the Barber Shop. Added in the pre-patch for the expansion, players could now customize their druid forms while in the barber shop. Alongside this change, many glyphs were renamed to marks, and these marks now granted an account-wide unlock to various appearances in the barber shop. For example, the glyph of the dolphin from BFA became Mark of the Dolphin. However, not all glyphs were changed to marks, so there can still be some confusion and overlap. Following the renaming of the many items, the stack form was permanently changed to be called the Mount Form. Shadowlands also introduced the new starting zone of Exile's Reach. The new druids in this zone complete a quest called A Druid's Form, which teaches them the various forms druids can take. This is only worth mentioning because this is the first time in the game since the removal of the flight and aquatic quest chains in Cataclysm that druid forms have been rewarded to the players after a quest. Shadowlands also re-added both the flight form and aquatic forms as passive abilities. While they don't do anything when clicked on, it at least brought back a little flavor and RPG to the class that had been bulldozed when everything was conglomerated into the travel form in Legion. Finally, the biggest change to do forms in Shadowlands was the complete removal of the Swift Flight Form. Due to both a level squish and the sheer size WoW has gotten, it really didn't make sense for there to be tiers of flying. And there was also a similar level upset with the removal of the Artisan Riding Skill, which was also being removed in Shadowlands. This marks the first time since Cataclysm when the Dire Bear Form was removed that a Druid shapeshifting form had been removed from the game. Shadowlands also introduced many new glyphs and marks for the travel and aquatic forms. The first of these glyphs is the Glyph of the Swift Chameleon, which can be made with the BFA inscription. When used, the glyph makes so that each time the player shapeshifts into travel form, their shapeshifted form will be randomly selected. The next item is called Mark of the Twilight Rune Stag, which is made when Shadowlands inscription. The third travel form is an item from Shadowlands called the Mark of the Midnight Rune Stag, also made with Shadowlands inscription. Shadowlands also introduced six new glyphs and marks for the flight form. These include the Glyph of the Aerial Chameleon, Mark of the Duskwing Raven, Mark of the Gloomstalker Dreadbat, Mark of the Nightwing Raven, Mark of the Regal Dreadbat, and Mark of the Sable Ardenmoth. Wow's ninth expansion, Dragonflight, saw a complete overhaul of the town system, and while there are some small changes, there have been no significant, interesting changes to travel, flight, and aquatic forms yet. However, the expansion is still pretty new as of the beginning of this video, and there will probably be updates to come in the future, as well as updates in the future expansions as well. And that does it for the video. This was a pretty broad overview and focuses mainly on the big changes and how the different forms have evolved and the way they look. As always, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, leave them below and we'll see you in the next video. And here's a bad joke to send you off. Two druids in aquatic form are in a tank. One of them says to the other, any idea how to drive this thing?